I'm Linda Patton, I'm your MC, and so what qualifies me to do that? Um, 40 years in, of experience in leadership. Um, I actually teach the art of herding cats, which is why Nyla's on my shoulder. Um, the, the art of leading leaders um, with a new program coming out called Leadership Inspiration. And I've known Rebecca forever. Um, she started with me as my financial advisor and I've watched her grow and change and just come out of hiding and shine. And I love the fact that you all are here and we'll get the chance to not only experience her, but all of our lovely speakers today. And they are some of the most heartfelt, wonderful, deep individuals. And I know you're all gonna learn some really fabulous things. So I have the honor and privilege to introduce a woman who has been near and dear to my heart for eight years? Yeah, something around there. Um, Rebecca Hall Greider. And if you'll indulge me just a bit, I want to share with you all of her credentials. Rebecca Hall Greider is the founder and owner of our purpose-driven practice. She's the creator of the Women's Empowerment Series events, which is where you are today, and the TV show, and the speaker talent search. She's a radio show host, She's the producer of the Empowering Women, Transforming Lives International Radio Show and guest training programs. Rebecca's Money Summit is also a piece that has just absolutely transformed people's lives. She's the network director for Voice America's Women's Channel in both radio and TV. She's the host and producer of the popular weekly Women's Empowerment TV show series, of which we will use some of this footage from Summer Star's session. So that's just the beginning of who this woman is. But she's been transforming lives for many years. And I, I can say, honestly, that I find her absolutely inspirational and very, very much empowering. And for someone who came out of hiding and shown, she's still doing it every day. Let's stand up and welcome Rebecca Hall Greider to the stage. <laughs> well, good morning, everybody. How are you doing today? Good. Oh, love the energy already. I was enjoying it. How it was kind of buzzing around outside. Everybody was getting excited. And it's a big deal to invest a Saturday. So I'm very honored that you're investing a Saturday in yourself, in us, in this time together. So I wanted to share my intention for the day, if I could. Is that cool? Okay, thank you. I wanted to make sure I had permission. <laughs> so thank you. I want to pour into each of you so that you are filled to overflowing in a beautiful way, not an overwhelming way, but in a way that you are ready to go out there and shine, to share your gifts, your talents, your abilities. You're feeling nourished, filled, loved, and excited to go out in the world. Are you in? Yes. Good, good, good. So you're in the right place. So this is Summer Star. It's all about how do we step into our star power, center stage, really show up in the world and be seen in our lives. I think sometimes we get caught up in the busyness. We get caught up in roles, we get caught up in the to-do list, and the time is just passing by. It's almost like, well, eventually I'll show up, or we're caught up in that role and it's almost like we treat a day like a dress rehearsal. When I feel ready, when I'm ready, someday, when I'm really ready, I'll show up and share my gifts. And I want to tell you, every day matters. And you matter. You are so needed in this world. And it's not an accident. You're here today. You're here for a purpose. There is something here for you today. And I want you open, willing, and ready to receive. Are we in? Yes. Okay. So I have tools to support us along the journey because we're going to be pouring a lot of content, a lot of different speakers, a lot of wisdom into you. And guess what? The tables you're at are filled with amazing experts too. 
You might have some powerful connections. You may be the one to share an aha with somebody else. Encourage someone else. It's not just what happens up here on the stage. It's what happens throughout the day together and how we interact with each other. So can I share some tools that we have to support you? Okay. So we have these lovely blue folders at all of your tables. And if you open them, that's why we give them to you. <laughs> we have all kinds of goodies in there to keep you informed. But also, there's this magical document called an insert. How many of you are list people? You like lists? Okay, okay, good. I'm a list person. If I do something that's not on the list, I actually write it down on the list so I can cross it off. <laughs> that's how you know <laughs> you're a list person. So list people, here is the tool for you. You have wonderful note pages that you can take notes throughout the day, but a full day of content and information can get a little overwhelming to kind of sort through and implement. So what you do is you put the highlights on this. And this is what you're going to get really excited about, list people. Look at the back. There's boxes you can check. <laughs> <laughs> Item, action, the approximate date I'm going to do this, and done. So I encourage you to use this throughout the day. But how many of you are maybe not list people, more visual and creative in how you process? OK, good. It's OK. I love you, too, and we have something for you. So if you look, there are these yellow pages on your tables that have a star. Dun, dun, dun. This is how you, perfect, exactly. This is how you can use it. In the middle, what goes in the middle, people who've been through to a past event, what always goes in the middle of the flower in every template? You, exactly, you go in the center. So put your name in the very center of the star. And then you see these letters. They actually represent our speakers throughout the day. So T stands for Trisha. You want to wave? <laughs> R stands for Rebecca. Exactly. J stands for Julia. G stands for Gary. <laughs> and N stands for Nancy. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> We're going to do a lot of celebrating today. I think that's important to weave into our lives, to celebrate every moment, every way that we get to connect. There's a richness in that. So the way to use this is when you hear their presentations or you interact with them, whatever touches your heart or spirit that you want to carry forward with them, put that in or around their area. Sometimes it'll be a picture, a color, something, a word that stands out. If you do that every presentation, by the end of the day, you have this beautiful visual representation of your experience with all of our energy woven into that. Thank you. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. <laughs> but you notice these little kind of movement marks? What really gives us liftoff is the connections that we have. So I want to give you an extra credit bonus opportunity for today. You guys in? Yeah. Okay. You don't even know what it is, but you're in. I love that. Okay. Right here, I want you to get the autograph of someone today. Make a connection. Have them sign. Carry that energy with you as you go back out into the world. Does that sound good? So we got the line, the list people. We have the visual learners. And then we have other tools for you. Uh, let's see. <laughs> I'm glad. Me too. Uh, let's see. Um, we've already talked about the Ask Rebecca's, so I appreciate that. Also, this is a series, and we'd love to have you join us again. So we've included that information in your folders. And we're going to be talking about something later, but if you want a sneak peek, 
You guys like sneak peeks? It's called the speaker talent search. So something to be listening in about as we go throughout our day. It's an opportunity to get on more stages and reach more people. And then, actually, I'm going to save this for later. So there's going to be something special I share about this document a little bit later on. Okay. Also, all of you have an agenda. So us list people, we like agendas. But here's what I want to warn you about this agenda. It's organic. That means it's living. And it may shift this way or that way a little bit. But you're going to get all your breaks. <laughs> We're going to end on time. But you can use it as a guide of the order and what the different presentations are. So I'm happy to give it to the list people, but I just don't want them concerned if there's a five-minute shift <laughs> this way or that. Promise we're managing the time, and everything will get delivered as promised. And then I want this to be a safe and sacred space. I want us all to be able to show up authentically, just as we are. That's a huge gift, powerfully, being willing to be truly with each other, perfect in our imperfections, because it's about connection, not perfection. To encourage that, I have a phrase that we like to use, and it's called, who knows it? Who wants to share? Yes. Be exactly, and see all the feeling and emotion. <laughs> Thank you, beautiful. <laughs> you are so beautiful, too. And the reason I think it's important to remind ourselves is we forget. We forget that we're beautiful just as we are. And I want us to remember that. I want us to get really good at building that muscle where we're even able to greet the mirror in the morning and say it to ourselves. You are, and you can say it with attitude, you are so beautiful. Exactly. But you take it in. That's the trick. It's so easy for us to brush off a compliment. Oh, they just caught a good side, a good angle. They don't really know. We don't really deeply take it in. So I want us to practice that today. Are we in? Okay, so let's try this. Trip. You are so beautiful. Thank you. Did you say I actually leaned in? I didn't brush it off. I received. Let's try it again. Oh my goodness, I, I lost where I'm at. You are so beautiful. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. It's at those moments sometimes when something goes off what we expect we need to be reminded most. So I encourage you throughout the day to share that gift. But let's practice this. Let's stand up. Find someone to make eye contact with and share the gift on the count of three. One, two, three, you are. So <laughs> Oh, very good. Let's find another neighbor, another buddy. The count of three. One, two, three. You are. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and here's, here's how I want to dial it up. I want you to give yourself a hug and say, I am so beautiful. And give yourself a hug. Wonderful, wonderful. Go ahead and have a seat. Got that muscle strong. Now, I shared in the beginning how much I value your yes. Investing a Saturday in yourself. And trusting us with a Saturday of your time. That yes is valuable. It's sacred. In order to get the most out of it, I don't want you present in body, but the mind is somewhere else. So can I walk us through a quick activity to help bring us really, really present? OK, great. And let's actually have you stand for this. Create a lot of room. Take a breath. Big belly breath. See how big you can make your belly. 
<laughs> Wonderful. Let's do that again. That felt good. <sighs> Wonderful. Go ahead and close your eyes. You're absolutely safe, and I can tell if you don't. Put one hand on your heart, one hand on your head, bringing all of you in. <sighs> Beautiful. And then put both hands on your heart. And just see if there's anything pulling at you. Wanting some attention, the to-do list, the things that were left in the sink. Perhaps traffic, getting here, whatever it is. Just see if there's stuff pulling at you. Because I claim this time is yours. Let's gather all of those things and lovingly put them into a heart-shaped box. And we're going to put a lid on that box. It has tiny air holes so you're not suffocating anything. <laughs> They're still contained. And we're going to remove this from the room for now. You can pick it up later. But we put that lid on. And we need to take a really big breath to remove this from ro the room because boxes are kind of heavy. So you're ready? On a count of three. One, two, three. Big breath. <sighs> Okay, we're removing it across the lobby, out into the parking lot, into the beautiful golf course. Okay, feel back in. See if we can even expand your belly more. Now we've created more room. Just see if there's anything else lingering, pulling at you. Let's lovingly gather those pieces, and let's put them in a blue, shiny, one of those cellophane bags. Little tissue paper on top. Oop, there's one more in the corner. Grab that, put it in. Let's put that tissue paper on and take another big breath. On the count of three, one, two, three. Out the lobby, into the parking lot, into the beautiful, beautiful golf course. Wonderful. Go ahead and open up your eyes and have a seat. I promise all of those things are waiting for you. They're getting to roam, enjoy the beautiful air. And you can pick them up as you leave if you decide to pick them all up. But this time is yours for you. Are we in? Yes, it's, it's, um, we get to choose. Because sometimes our perspective will shift. <laughs> exactly, beautiful. Oh, as we've cleared a little bit of space, I want to give us some frameworks to help us throughout the day. Uh, we have a number of new people. How many is this your first time? Okay. Okay. Welcome, welcome. Well, there's a few things we like to do as a community, and I didn't want to leave anyone out. <laughs> so I'm going to run through some of those things so you'll understand when someone does something what they mean by that and you'll get to be part of it as well. Is that cool? Okay. So today, as we're talking about fully being seen, fully showing up in your life, sometimes we don't quite know how to do that, especially if we've been good at kind of blending into the background. And I learned a way to do this from my cat, Nina. Nina always made an entrance. She'd come into a room, she always pranced. And then she'd pause, tail up, head up, and wait. <laughs> and wait. And if I didn't notice her, she'd come a little closer, and she didn't really meow, she chirps. And she'd start chirping, like, notice me? Oh, hi, hi, Nina, <laughs> good to see you. And then she'd be happy and go about her cat business. None of my other cats have ever done this. This is like a unique thing with Nina. And after watching this for a while, I thought, that looks kind of fun. <laughs> for those of you who don't know, I, I work at home a lot. So some days, I feel like wearing a ball, ground, a ball gown, so I do. Maybe I'll do a facial. Maybe I'll wear everything sparkly I own because it lifts me up that day. So my husband, when he comes home, never quite knows what he's going to be walking into. <laughs> So the first few years, you know, it was a constant surprise. <laughs> now he, he kind of rolls with it. So I thought, maybe I'll try this Nina approach with him. So I laid the trap. 
I waited for him to come in and get all settled. And then I came down the stairs, and I had dolled myself up. I was looking good. So I come down the stairs, and I wait. And I waited. <laughs> and I waited. <laughs> so, hmm. Um, and he looks up. Hi, honey. I said, don't I look good? <laughs> yeah, honey, you, you look great. So I decided he needs a little training, <laughs> just like I did. So we did this for a while. And you know what happened? It's contagious. He started to do it, too. <laughs> he would come up the stairs, because my office is upstairs. And his did on mine's more like, hey, that's me. He's a little more, hey. <laughs> so he'd come, he'd put, he loves hats, he'd have his hat. He'd go, hey, don't I look good? Hey. <laughs> and it became really fun. And I thought, what if I greeted every day like that? Wouldn't that be a good time? So I do that every once in a while, especially when I need a little pick-me-up. I will go to the mirror and I'll go, both hands, ta-da, I have arrived. And I make eye contact, I get very excited, and I can't wait to see what the day will bring. So those moments when you're handed a microphone, the camera turns your way, let me tell you something about the camera. They still take the picture. Even if you're doing the duck away, or you're trying to like position and hide, they still take the picture, and they post it. And I've learned it looks a lot better if I just face the camera head on and smile, or even more, ta-da, look like I meant it. Really show up and arrive. So for those of you, when you have that moment hit and you feel like the spotlight's coming to you and you're not sure what to do, what are you gonna do? Ta-da! Let's practice, stand up. <laughs> okay, ready? On the count of three, because three's my favorite number. <laughs> One, two, three, ta-da! Let's try the other arm. One, two, three, ta-da! And let's dial it fully up both arms. One, two, three, ta-da! Beautiful, and that looks like a star. <laughs> well done. Okay, we've got our ta-da muscles going. Yeah, you can have a seat. We have our you are so beautiful going. That's great, but I have more. Are you ready for more? <laughs> Woo, okay. So I have the amazing gift of having multiple grandmothers who have all taught me beautiful things in my life, many legacies that I've had the honor to experience myself and to bring forward. And I want to share two of them with you today. So have you noticed those flower pens on your table? This is a tradition my grandma Ive started. She used to make these pens, and she would tie them into the season, and it was her way of making the world a beautiful place, brightening someone's day. When I saw these flower pens, I thought, oh, that's all of us. We are each a beautiful flower in the Garden of Life. And so I now have the tradition of making these flowers and passing them on because I want you to remember as you go back out into the world, you matter. You're so needed. And you're beautifully and uniquely made like each and every flower. Each one's unique. In fact, let's hold them up. Look around the room. See all the different colors and textures? Look at your own flower. See how it's uniquely made, its own gifts, its own talents, its own color, its own fragrance, its own season. That's us. And we can sometimes see it outside ourselves, but we don't always remember to see it in ourselves. And I want you to notice something else. Lift those flower pins again. See all the beauty, color, rich, beautiful garden that we have? A few of you drop your flowers down. The garden just got a lot less vibrant. We're still occupying the same space, but by us not being seen, by us hiding, we affect others. By us being willing to show up and shine, we can affect others in a powerful, positive way. So I want to encourage you to remember to lift yourself up 
to be willing to share who you are around the world. And we do that one heart, one life at a time. I didn't want to be left out. <laughs> I have one too. <laughs> so that's something I want you to remember when you go forward from today. And that all of our energy and love is being woven into these. I promise I don't make any of them when I'm angry or stressed. <laughs> There's only love and blessings in this from my heart to yours, from my grandmother to you. <laughs> and then I have another legacy that was passed on to me. And this is my grandma Garacio. And she's what we call compressed big, so a small package, but there's a lot of power in that package. Do we know compressed big people? So my dad always calls her <laughs> dad. <laughs> this is my dad. <laughs> and the first time attending ever, I'm so honored. Do you want to come up? <laughs> You'll hear a little bit of my story later on. But this is my stepmom, Patty, who's the mom of my heart. <laughs> so excited to have you today. Thank you, Rebecca. And you guys are all beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, it was just really special to me to have her here today. It's one of those, um, you know, things you always want and hope for, and it's happening today, and I get to share it with mom of my heart and with all of you. So thank you for giving me that moment and get to know these, um, my mom and my dad, and you'll find out a little bit more about what um, courageous heroes they are in my life. So I'll share a little bit more about that later on. But going back to Grandma Garacio, this is my stepmom, Patty, my mom of my heart. It's her mom. When Grandpa passed away, she moved into our home. So I had this opportunity as a teenager to get to know my grandma as a, a woman, not just as a grandmother figure. And in fact, we used to go on all kinds of adventures together, walks, Bible studies. we talk about, well, I would talk about boys. Grandma would listen. <laughs> We do our nails together, and she would. Um, we loved watching old movies, you know, with the dancing and the singing and everything. So we just had a really rich experience getting to know each other. And I admired my grandma so much, and I still do to this day. But she had this one quirk that just made me really uncomfortable. And I'm sharing this because as we're talking about showing up, and being seen, sometimes we might push another person's button a little bit, or they push ours a little bit as we're starting to expand, as we're starting to stretch out a little bit. And if my grandmother would just change this one thing, I would be more comfortable. <laughs> now here's where it would happen. Oh, let me let you know one more thing. My grandma is Italian. And Italians, bread is really important. So where this would all take place, where I would just start to, within myself, try to hide and disappear, is when I go to the grocery store. And I was trying to be cool in my teens. Don't know that I ever achieved it, but I tried. And I was still struggling with being visible, not being visible, being visible, not being visible. Grocery store with grandma, I didn't want to be visible because I knew what would happen. So I would look down the aisles trying to mitigate what I knew was coming, and we get to that bread aisle. And my grandma would pick up the bread and give it a squeeze. And most bread did not pass the squeeze test. Ah, and it was not subtle. I can't believe they're serving this crunch, crunch, crunch. Well, this is soggy. What's this? And she's kind of tossing it here and there, and I'm like, Grandma, Grandma. You know, and I'm trying to like try softly find the bread that's OK because it's important what do we serve our families. But I'm also very aware this is not our bread that's being squeezed. <laughs> and 
so I'm trying to kind of subtly put it back and find my little pass, and finally, we get the bread that is worthy to be served at our dinner. And I thought, you know, I need to let my grandma know. She just doesn't understand this isn't appropriate behavior. This is not our bread. Have any of you ever tried to confront someone you love and admire? It's hard. But you feel like you really need to let them know a truth for their own good. So I pulled my courage up, and we were still in the grocery store, but we had the bread in hand. And I go, Grandma, we can't go around squeezing other people's bread. It's not ours. And suddenly it was like she expanded. And the only way I know how to even get close is I can put my hand on my hip. She doesn't need to do that. She just expanded. And she was about to let me know truth. <laughs> and here's what it was. She goes, eh, what are they going to do? I'm the grandma. It's an empowered grandma. <laughs> I didn't quite get it at that moment. I became very embarrassed. I thought, she's just never going to get it. Let's, let's go out, out the door after we purchase our bread. <laughs> but as I look back on that moment, I was the one that gained a powerful truth. So often, we wait for permission. We don't fully claim stretching, trying new things, owning who we are. If I look back on that time in grandma's life, widowed, discovering where she starts and stops without grandpa, learning how to drive. She got a silver sports car, went 25. <laughs> the colors changed, but it's still 25. <laughs> she learned to line dance. My grandma had great courage and has great courage to define who she is, to find out what that is, not waiting for permission. And the legacy that's been passed on, you can ask any family member, if we do this, eh, they can finish the sentence. <laughs> My cousins, everybody, eh. What if we could embrace life like that? What if we could wear the dress that we wanted, the thing that stretches us a little bit? Share what we want to share. Give flower opens to people. What if we could really bring all of who we are unapologetically with great love, with great confidence and power growing into that, be willing to fully share who we are? Instead of waiting for permission, yeah, what are they going to do? I'm the Rebecca. Fully own that. Can you imagine how bright and vibrant our lives and each other's lives would be? I want us to try this. Let's stand up. On the count of three, and I get, well, get no wrist injuries. Let's warm up the wrists. <laughs> okay, on the count of three. Yeah. What are they going to do? I'm the, you say your name. I'm the, <laughs> beautiful. Let's try the other wrist out, warm it up. Let's try that out. Let's put a little more sass into it. A little more, yeah, what are they going to do kind of energy. Ready? One, two, three. Yeah. What are they going to do? Do we have both wrists in us? Can we pull that on the count of three? One, two, three. Yeah. What are they going to do? I'm the beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Now, this is contagious, I'm just warning you. I was talking to my executive producer the other day, his name is Robert, and he gets on, and he must have been listening to one of the radio shows. And he goes, eh, what are they gonna do? I'm the executive producer, I'm like, oh. So, just warning, it can spread in a beautiful way and show up unexpectedly. So, embrace it, enjoy. <laughs> beautiful. And then the last piece, is to remember to be fully present. To really be here, mind, body, soul, and spirit, not in the future, not in the past, here. I have new cats that we've adopted, and they're really good at this. They know that just being is enough. <laughs> they have great confidence in that. 
<laughs> and I think there's a great lesson to learn in that, that it's enough to just be, to share, and let people be with you. So I invite you throughout the day, you're already a success, you're here, <laughs> you're being present, and you're willing to connect. So let the day unfold, let it pour into you. But I also want to make sure you're served at the highest level. I shared my intention with you today. I want you to have the opportunity to tap into yours. So if I can have you each close your eyes again, put one hand on your heart, one hand on your head, bringing all of you in, mind, body, soul, and spirit. Beautiful. And in this space, I want to ask yourself, what is it that you need today? To encourage you, to empower you, to help you shine even more, share the gift of you even more, what is it that you need? And just receive that information. When you have it, come back into the room, open up your eyes, fully present, and write it down. <laughs> it's so easy to forget, so easy to get distracted. I want it top of mind what it is that you need today. And then I'm going to ask you a second question with this. Are you willing to receive it? And just see. And if you happen to discover it's a no, then you might want to go in and see what it, part of it am I willing to receive? Because we have choice every day, every breath, every step of the way. Because I want you leaning in eagerly with anticipation to receive whatever it is that you need to pour into you so that you have that as you go back out into the world. And I'm going to invite you to be open. It can sometimes be surprising how it might come in. So be open to it showing up in an unexpected way. But be looking for what it is you need and are willing to receive. And then we're going to go around the room. And I'm going to invite you to share from your heart your intention. This allows us to support you in having it come true and having it come forward. It helps us get to know you. And we may find there are some similar intentions that we can connect and serve each other in bringing forward. If the intention you wrote down is something you're not quite ready to share, then have a lighter, you know, something that you are, the level you are comfortable sharing is fine. So this is a safe and sacred space. We won't be filming these shares. This is for us here as we come together and connect. But I do invite you to stretch a little bit, share just a little bit more because then we as a community can support you. Wasn't it wonderful to meet everybody? Hear each other's hearts? I heard some common things, and I always find that really beautiful when our hearts start connecting and we're drawn to an event, there is a reason. And there is something that's calling forth that we need, and I saw connection, hugs. Very happy to have you here today and this willingness to be vulnerable and share with each other, and that's really special. So I invite you throughout the day, allow yourself to go a little bit deeper with each other, expand beyond the table <laughs> to the other tables, really get to know each other. This is a special group of men and women that are here to connect. You all are... I feel like change makers. You're willing to grow, you're willing to expand, you're willing to connect, and then you're willing to share your gifts and your talents with the world. So I'm very honored to be in all of your presence and to have this opportunity. So let's take a moment to stand. 
I mentioned we would support each other in our intentions and what we were bringing forward. Here's a way that we can do that. I want you to close your eyes. That way we don't get distracted. <laughs> one hand on your heart, one hand on your head, bringing all of you in, mind, body, soul, and spirit. Breathe in deeply the intention you shared. Hold it in your heart. And breathe it out into the room. Picture it mingling with everyone else's intentions. And let's breathe that rich mixture in. And give it our love. Hold it in our heart for a moment. And then as we breathe out, breathe out love and support to all who are here. Let's breathe that in again. Give it another hug and love, a beautiful mixture. And then let's breathe it out into the room. <sighs> beautiful. Open up your eyes. Now we get to bask in all of that love and support of our intentions all day long. So feel free to take a breath, breathe it in. If you're wanting a little more encouragement, you're wanting a little more love, be willing to share and give hugs. Those are welcome. It's a great way to connect and support each other. And don't forget on your star chart, those little lines, the extra credit bonus opportunity for further connection so that you can weave that person's energy with yours and then carry them forward and what you're learning and what you're launching back out into the world. Are we in? Okay, so let's also, I was talking about celebration. I think that's really important. Let's celebrate that we are standing together, that we are getting to support one another and all of our intentions that we are bringing forward, that we are willing to share them and we're willing to receive that intention, that thing that we need so that we can go out in the world and shine. Let's cheer about that. Let's celebrate that. <laughs>